Hello, kiddos. Oh, I missed you. So I thought we could get together a little bit like this. I've never got to have you to my house before, so this is special. And I can blow you a kiss like that. Oh, and I can send you a hug oh, like that. And oh, maybe you'll get to meet my kitty cat, Dippy. You might hear his little bell jingling. He's around here somewhere and he is very curious. So he might come to check us out. So I wanted to show you, here's a picture of him. Let me show you here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he? And sometimes he looks like that. And sometimes he looks more like this. He has the biggest belly. So you'll definitely see him if he comes around. Um, and you can point at him and you can giggle at him too. It's okay. <laughs> but the best part about getting together is that we get to do what I love doing together the most. We can keep learning about Jesus. I've got my Bible and I've got you. So let's do this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about fear. What does the Bible say about fear? Ah, fear. Oh. Show me your very best scared face. Let's see it. Ready? Ah, there's mine. How's yours? I bet it's a good one. So let's do this. Let's check it out and see what the Bible says about fear. Now, remember, the Bible is God's word. And the Bible says a lot about fear. And right here, it's in Isaiah 41, verse 13. Let me show you what it says. It says, For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. Sweet. Did you hear that? Right smack dab in the middle, do not fear. Oh, hmm. Well, that makes me think. I have a question for you. Now, how many of you are human? How about you? Are you human? I'm pretty sure that most of you are human. And if you are human, you are probably at some point going to struggle with being afraid, fear. Did you know that there are hundreds, probably thousands of things to be afraid of? For example, some people have what is called a seraphobia, which is actually a fear of sour foods. Can anybody say Sour Patch Kid? Mm. <laughs> now, other people have something called catatrophia, which is not a fear of cats, but it is a fear of mirrors. Ah, they can be kind of scary, I guess. Now, other people, oh, they're afraid of lots of different things. Some people are afraid of squirrels. They might be afraid of squirrels. Aww. Oh, some people are afraid of numbers. Interesting. I and I mean, some people might be afraid of a two-headed dragon. Roar! Okay, just about anybody would be afraid if they saw a two-headed dragon. I, I get that. But but some of these fears, I mean, they kind of sound sort of silly to us. But to some people, these fears, they're real. Me? Well, I know it really is silly, but I'll tell you what I'm afraid of. Rats. Ew, 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 rats. Yuck. I don't even like to talk about them. I definitely don't like to look at them. Their tails, their teeth. Ugh. Now to you, they, they might look something like this, this, this slide here, because my daughter even thinks they're cute. Yuck. To me, they look a little more like 
this. Yeah, see that it's creepy. Okay, we're moving on. I don't want to talk about that. So how about you? What are you afraid of? Maybe you're afraid of the dark or being alone. Maybe clowns. How about bugs, spiders, snakes? Hmm. Or maybe you fear something happening to someone that you love. The thing is, God knew that we were going to have fears. That's why over and over again in the Bible, he says, do not fear. Now in 1 John 4, 18, the Bible tells us that perfect love casts out fear. In other words, perfect love gets rid of fear. That's cool, right? But what is perfect love? That, dear ones, is Jesus. Jesus, who is God, but loved us so much that he left heaven. He put on human skin to be born here on earth, to live and to die, all to come back to life, to defeat sin and death. He did that so that anyone who believes on him can be saved and live with him forever and ever and ever. Oh, isn't that awesome? And check this out. This is from Romans 8. And it tells us that, what shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry? or destitute, or in danger, or threatened with death? No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Wow. Did you hear that? Perfect love casts out fear. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. So we get to choose. Do you want to keep focusing on thinking about the things that you fear? Or do you choose to focus on Jesus and his perfect love for you? <laughs> All right, everybody, let's do this, okay? I want everybody, hmm, let's do this. Hmm, think about
about it. What is your choice? You know, I think it would be great if we could talk to God about helping us to make the right choice, helping us to not fear. So let's do that. Now, what do we call it when we talk to God? Hmm? Prayer. That's right. And remember, we can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. Now, one way I like to talk to God is with my hands in front of me like this. So maybe you can do that too. Can you join me and pray with me like this? And I'll talk to God and you can talk to him at the same time. You can close your eyes too. Okay, let's pray. God, thank you that you love us so much that you gave us Jesus. Thank you that Jesus is the perfect love and that when we focus on him, we don't have to be afraid. But God, we need you to help us. Help us to make the right choice, to focus on Jesus, to love him just like he loves us so that we don't have to be afraid. We love you, Lord, and we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Awesome, thank you so much for praying with me. You know, this was a lot of fun, I think. So can we do it again? Maybe tomorrow. Now I tell you, I wanna tell you a story about when I was little and I got afraid. I think you're going to like that story. And until then, how about this? How about you have your mom or dad or some other growing up in your house help you to take a picture of you showing your best silly face? <laughs> then they can upload it to the comments and show me. That would be fun. Oh, and one other thing. Would you do something for me? How about you give someone in your house a big hug and remind them Jesus's perfect love casts out fear. Can you say that with me? Jesus's perfect love casts out fear. One more time. Jesus's perfect love casts out fear. That's awesome. That would be super nice if you guys can do that. And I want you to know, I love you very much. And I, I can't wait to talk to you again. I'll talk to you soon. But for now, <laughs>